everybody so it's Pearl welcome back to my channel and yes I got the little camera fixed it had to be reformatted it was some shit it is hot as hell in this bathroom the door is open I am sweating in the face area still but I want to film this because I want to talk about this so I got my newest box hey thank you I got my newest box box from Influencer and it is the Maybelline New York make it happen box box with the brow drama uh, products. So I have the new Brow Drama Shaping Chalk Powder and then I also received the Brow Precise Micro Pencil. And those are the products that are showcased in this video because, um, I mean they're new and I actually tried this. So the Brow Drama Shaping Chalk Powder is like $7.99. I've seen it at Target a bunch of times and they usually have a, I think they might still have a Cartwheel coupon for it. But I was curious because I've seen uh, like brow powders like this and I was like what's up with that because basically it's like a little, it's like a powder, really pigmented powder for your eyebrows and I was like whoa. So we're going to try this out today. So they gave me both products in 130 Deep Brown for the Shaping Chalk and 260 Deep Brown for the Brow Precise Pencil. And so if you don't know and you never watch any of my videos where I do my makeup in them, which don't worry, I kind of don't either, they're after I finish editing them, I do my eyebrows first. So that's why there's no makeup on my face. I feel like it's while it is more appealing to put on all your makeup and then do your eyebrows, um, I also feel like if this has fallout, this uh, shaving shock has fallout, then I have to deal with that on my makeup, which would also make me mad. And we'll also use the pencil for some sharp ass tails to my brows because bitch don't live life without it, you know? I can't. I just can't, you guys. Hello, so we're gonna just go ahead and try this. So I want to first kind of outline my eyebrow. I'm gonna use the Brow Precise Micro pen Brow Pencil. It's got spoolie on one side and then the product on the other. Hold on. And this is a full size product. This is how much product you get. Uh, depending on how pigmented this is, this is going to either be a comically small amount of product or it's going to actually be a decent amount of product. Um, the, and so let's start. You, I see the line. There we go. So hopefully y'all can see what I'm doing because I know that I do put my hands at weird angles. Okay. I like how small it is. Smaller pencils give you these little perfectly sharp lines to work with. I fill on the tail with the pencil as well just because that's how we do. Color match is on point though. Like, go influence their. Well, go me for using their little guide correctly and then going better just grab like the second darkest one, which is usually my color for eyebrow products. So, very pigmented. It's got a nice ashy tone, which I need for my eyebrows. I don't need really warm brows, so that actually looked really good. I mean, it's got a little spoolie on the other side, so I'm just gonna brush the brow here. Soften out this bottom line a little bit, but I don't really brush and then brush through the tail, but not the actual like lines for the tail, just to make it softer. All right, on to the star of the show, which is the Brow Precise Shaking Shaping Chalk. There is instructions in the back of the package. I know how to use a brow pencil, but Shaping Chalk is new. So it says, "This is a Brow Precise packaging." <laughs> it says, "Blah blah blah." Fill with flat side, twist tip to define tail. Okay. We're not going to do that because I don't believe in, I don't, I believe in the good Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So we're going to open it. And it's like, oh, you know those new Stila Magnificent Metals things? That's what that it looks like. So it, looks, it has a paddle head just like that. This is not going to give you a sharp tail. Not at all. We're not even going to play that game with ourselves. Alright, we're going to take the flat side and run it through the brows and let's see. Oh, whoa, okay. Pigment. Okay. Okay, I have to say, shit, I just filled in my brow a little easily, too easily. So we're going to take it to the flat side and just flick it up a little bit just to give it a softer front. And we're at black brow. I love black. 
blocky. It's okay though. I can deal with a block brow. I can blend that out. <clears throat> I also put less product on the front. So there should be less to blend out. So, ooh, okay. So this is how I would normally do a brow. Is use a pencil or harder waxier product. Like pomade. And like, I use whatever product is softer to fill the brow. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend it and see how it blends out. Shaving chalk did not have any fallout actually. So I feel bad for accusing it. Because I know that, you know, I was accusing it of about, about to fuck up all my makeup and it my it was mine in its own business. So let's go ahead and blend out the top till we get blend up. blending my top. Okay. So my front of the brow, the, so the chalk fills it in, but it has no defined like lines. So I'm gonna be very precise. Draw little hair-like strokes in the brow powder area. I'm gonna draw little harsh lines, but honestly, you can't see them because the products are the same color. So if you had something about a little bit darker, it's so like if you're okay with your pencil being a little darker, I would definitely do that. Uh, but yeah, we're done with this brow. On the other brow, I'm actually going to do the whole thing with only the powder and see what happens. Just because I'm curious. So here's my other eye brow. Pray for this one because this one's about to get work done on it. So it does... Okay, I got some product on me now. I got product on my hand as I was opening it. You know, being lazy. Alright, and... Look at that fill, though. This would be nice for like a day when you don't feel like doing your eyebrows really well. Tilt your head up a little I mean, I'm getting a line. I mean, I have to admit, I'm actually getting a pretty good brow. I, I you can't deny the sharpness of a pencil, but I have to say, though, like, a brow with just powder. With this powder, the applicator gives me enough control to give me a pretty decent brow. Uh, the shape's off a little bit. That's my own fault. Trying to fix it's not going to work. But alright, so these are the two brows. This one's, I, both of them require some cleanup and I always, this brow will always be better. That's why I use it. But I say, this is without blending so far. This already looks really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and close this. The wrapping actually is not in the product, so it's not actually trying to break apart the clumps, the, the product clumps in the packaging. That rattle is actually in the applicator, so it doesn't actually change anything inside the actual product. So we're just brushing it through, which is actually making it look fuzzier. I'm looking head on when my brow is a little lower than the other, which is life and life personified. Uh oh, sweat block. Time to blot away the sweats. Girl, like, when I say I got the sweats, I don't even mean like the Cal- I mean, I got the California sweats. Alright, so this is the brow with the, uh, brow pomade. I mean, the brow- the brow powder. I think they have a pomade-like product, too. So what- and then also, I don't see staying power on it. Like, I just touched it and it just fucking moved. Um, I would not like that to happen. So we're gonna go ahead- Put some concealer on them now to get them all cleaned up, okay? Alright, and I'm back. So I'm just going to go ahead and actually set them now. Put a little bit of concealer right here under the brows and blend it out. Now we're just going to try setting them really quick. And see if that actually changes anything, if any of the product disappears. Because some stuff does not like being set, you know, in the traditional manner. But this brow precise pencil from Maybelline, though, I'm loving it. The powder I really like too, but the pencil got my eye because I like that line that I just drew with it. But I gotta admit that the powder fucking makes a brow 
this is the fastest I've ever done my brows. It's 11, less than 11 minutes on camera, so. You're not gonna see how long it takes, so I'm gonna fucking fast forward shit. So, what do you think? I think they look great. I think they, like, the, let's just do the whole face really quick. So let me go ahead and do the rest of my makeup real quick with some other stuff, and I'll come back and we'll talk about it, okay? So, um, I was about to do my eyeshadow, and then I remembered that this came out, and it's actually going to be back on the 28th, so I'm going to post this before then. This is the ColourPop Yes Please palette. Don't know why it's cute as fuck on the front, but I thought, oh, why don't I just show you it in action? I know I did an unboxing of it, which is going to go up hopefully before this, but if it doesn't, then you already know there's an unboxing video on the way. But, uh, I, so I just want to show you guys how this little bad boy works out in person and everything, so... Yeah, we're going to do that today. Hmm? Okay. So first, I'm going to take the first shade. The shades are written on the back of the packaging. The first shade I'm actually going to take is Full Zip, which is the one I've been using to set my entire eye lid every time because it's just like a useless cream color. I don't like useless cream colors in my palettes, but they're necessary for girls of a lighter color and for me, I guess. I have like 40 different shades I can use to set my eye with. And this is like one of the worst. I hate this one. Um, it's uh, sticking. But I mean, like, it's a good shadow. Like, it's finely milled. It's blendable and everything. It's sticking directly to my primer, if you're not catching on. That's why my eyes are so bright. It's because this is why we set our eyes with the powder real quick. Because it, your primer is sticky and it will fucking stick. So we're just patting it and blending it out. Um, you can also do this with your translucent powder or whatever you use to blend your uh, face out to set your makeup with, so that's also a thing. Then next we're going to go into my favorite transition color, which is Note to Self. It is this like gingerbread cookie brown down here at the bottom. So cute. It is good for transitioning any look into a masterpiece of your makeup. I would just like to say though, uh, I wish the fucking names were on the front because I look at the front of the palette and we're in the back. Um, but I gotta say this is a fucking nice ass. This palette's so nice. Like the the colors are nice, the blending's nice. Um, I got compliments on it. One of the shades is like insanity on my eyes and I thought, okay, well, gotta buy like four more of these and then never run out. Even though I have enough eyeshadow to sink a ship at this point. So I just blended it out. I'm mostly using it to cover up any of the little smush marks from setting my eyes with the first shade. Um, also, ColourPop, invest in a fucking mirror. Please. Please. I just, I can't deal with life without a fucking mirror in my shit. Like, why? Why do I have to live my life like this? I like the also notes itself really soft. It's a good transition shade for my skin tone darker I feel like you guys are gonna just go straight into the colors and say fuck this and use this as more of a blend out any harsh edges color but for anyone in my skin tone range and around there this is gonna be actually a good shade for you the next color I'm gonna go in with is see the thing is I always have a problem with determining what shades go where so the next darkest shade is actually this one right here called champs and then actually this shade here called Girls Night Out G and O right here actually is the next darkest and then the one next to it which is spoiled. Those are that's the order of darkness if you're trying to do things in, you know, like blending order. Um, personally I did a nice yellow look the other day and I started off with the brightest more so bright color you could possibly start with your crease. And I went straight into this is called Mischief it is the bright yellow shade in the corner. Went and looked for a mirror and did not find one, bitch. <laughs> and I'm just taking it right there in the crease and blending that shit out with a MAC 217. The last brush is some random, really fluffy Sling Akashic brush um, from her like 15th anniversary collection. Now she puts out all these, I realize now, okay, she puts out a brush collection every year, but I'm so happy I got the one I did because I wanted the purple ones. I got them. I still use them. I spent a lot of money on them. That was when I first started realizing that you want limited edition shit, buy that shit when it comes out and not from a reseller. I refuse. I don't do resellers anymore. I fucking will not fuck with them. I cannot keep doing this to myself. It's too expensive. If like my Lorac, Lorac Mega Pro, 
shit. I spent way too much on that shit. Um, Alright, so we got the yellow on. You can see it's very pigmented and vibrant for ColourPop. Like, honestly, ColourPop blew this fucking palette out the water. If anyone's seen there, like, oh, ColourPop can't do shit, you know, like, I would just like to point out to them, like, yes, they can. They absolutely can. So next, I'm going to go into the orange shade, which was, again, Champs, right, her. This look I did not do. I did a more simple look on my Instagram. I actually did a yellow color for my Instagram. It was not live, because I don't think anyone would actually watch it live, and it was also really late at night. But I just kind of was like, I just feel like doing my makeup and I went on my Instagram stories for the rest of the day. So for 24 hours, you could have watched it. Um, if you didn't, that's okay. So I'm taking Champs, so I'm kind of laying it down more on my eyelid than in my crease. And Champs is like a nice bright orange color. It's covering up the yellow a little bit, but that's fine because I'm going to blend other colors. And I'm going to come back to the yellow of Mischief and just fucking lay that shit down one more time. Like, bitch, you thought I was gone. Alright, we're just going to go ahead and now lay down the lid shade. And the lid shade actually is going to be that ruddy shade called Spoiled, which is right here for y'all. And I'm just going to lay Spoiled down right on my eyelid because that is what we do here is. And it's, look at that pigment though. Boom. This is one of those things where if you put like a leather layer, you're just doing it because you thought it was cute. You didn't need it. You just did it because you wanted to. It does have a little bit. These powdery shades, though, they do have kick up like hell. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it's got kick up. It's gonna make a mess of your beautiful white fucking packaging that ColourPop decided everyone needed white packaging. I get that your, your plastic packaging is white, but not, not this one. Not the fucking cardboard, guys. Let's pack that one. Alright, and then we're gonna go into. This kind of rusty brown shade right here, which was called Girls Night Out GNO. I'm gonna take it on this really fluffy ColourPop blending brush, actually, because I have it. I'm just gonna go ahead and use it to blend out the edges of Spoiled. Because if you don't, Spoiled's going to kind of overtake the eye look very quickly. And you want those edges, you want all your really, your harsh, any harsh edges blended out. So we gotta do that. So, as you guys, I hope you guys are noticing, like, how simply these blending sessions are going. Like, this talk through is so quick because it just blends beautifully. Now, I will admit my left eye does not blend as well as my right eye because my right hand does not know how to get into that spot to blend. Alright, now I'm going to put on mascara and everything and finish up the rest of my face and I'll come back and give you final thoughts, okay? And we're back. <laughs> that took a while. I actually was on the phone with one of my friends for a little while. But can we just... And so I did my lower lash line. Um, when I did my lower lash line, I just took Champs and popped it all over the lower lash line. And my inner corner is this shimmery champagne shade in the middle called Butter Cake. My lip is Love from Kat Von D. It's my favorite summer purple shade. It's like a nice neon purple. Um, for the cheeks, I have my regular, always, Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, the Too Faced Love Flush brush, Blush in Funfetti, and then for highlight, I mixed um, my, two new favorite, my new favorite highlighter with my old favorite highlighter, my favorite highlighter of Luxie Honey Child with Melt Cosmetics Digital Dust Highlighter in Nova, which my friend gave me. Oh, it's, 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 it's sickening. It's sickening how gorgeous it is, but then, and I broke my honey child, so I actually repressed it, so it's ugly. But anyway, this is it. So these brows, this, these brow products are really nice. Like, I did my brows extra fast, in my opinion. Like, I cleaned them up with a little bit of concealer. Um, I used my NAR Radiant, Radiant, Radiant Creamy Concealer, the RC Concealer. Um, like, cause I use the, uh, uh, soft mat on my face. This, these brows just, they, they kill on the game though. Like, real quick, they gave me eyebrows, but not ugly eyebrows. They gave me nice, full, defined eyebrows. The only thing I wish is that, I wish either, I wish the pencil, I had gotten it darker than the powder. Because the powder, 
is a nice good shade if the tails were darker and I could put darker lines in it like maybe with some dip brow I could do it um, it would definitely give it more of a hairy look uh, it's still really soft though um, I do I'd rather use this plus the pencil like on this side rather than this side where it's just the powder alone it feels too one dimensional and flat but I like that I can just swoop 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 and I have a full defined brow rather than having to stroke and, br and brush and blend until I get the fullness that I need out of my brows so also again you guys got my thoughts on the ColourPop palette where it's super blendable and nice and for fucking $16 for 12 shades of goodness like y'all this palette is the bees fucking knees and yes I am glowing right here because I'm sweaty again but shit y'all like shit it's a good ass palette anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video um, if you like me and all of my video types, I do first impressions like this video, uh, reviews, anti-hauls, and sometimes tutorials, like kind of like this one as well. I do all of those. You can go ahead and subscribe. If you want to follow me somewhere else, maybe you don't like the sound of my voice for too long, you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and they're both at so it's Sparrow. It is hot as fuck in this bathroom, and my face is actually melting off, so I'm just gonna go. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time, okay? Bye!